The final works consists of uh, four images. Um, the first is a corner detail shot, the second is the medallion detail shot, and then you have two full editions, one on a textured background and one on a white background. Um, from a licensing perspective, uh, the, four, the four images uh, will be made available under a Creative Commons license, and that will be uh, attribution and non-commercial. And what this means is that you can take this, you can add a poem or lyrics, you can create a certificate out of it, a uh, memorial, whatever you like. Um, and you can use this for yourself or for your friends or at work or whatever, uh, provided that it's, it's just not sold and provided that you have, uh, have the attribution uh, credit at the top there. Um, if you're a graphic designer and you want to use this for a commercial project, contact me directly. Um, I have the original source files, both in Photoshop and Adobe Illustrator, uh, GIMP, and Inkscape formats. And I also have the associated uh, templates uh, available in a vector format. My thoughts on the piece. Overall, I like it. Overall, the feel is really great. And, and for me, I find that it's reminiscent of the original work that I did 20 years ago. And, and I'm happy with that. The other piece is that it, it's a bit of a breakthrough for me um, 20 years later from a digital perspective. You know, using open source software to do this, um, to produce a high fidelity, high resolution image um, that was done using pen and ink, scanned, and then brought into both Inkscape and GIMP and to do the post-processing, I think that's pretty cool and that's important to me. So, uh, yeah, so I like that. One of my dislikes with this uh, project is that the border is too black. And the reason for that was because I overcompensated a little bit because of the fact that the scan I had done was a poor quality scan. It wasn't the quality that I was sort of expecting to get. And, and because of that, um, I had to make some calls and uh, the border ended up just a little too black for my liking. Some of the likes, uh, the things I like about this project is that it has a very human feel to it. And, and the reason for that is it's completely hand done. And if you did it on a computer um, uh, from scratch, not using any calligraphy at all, it would look too perfect and your eye would spot that in a second. And, and I think, think doing something hand hand done is, is uh, one, it's, it's just far more creative. And, um, and two, I think you're, when your eye looks at this piece, it's, uh, it initially thinks it's done by a computer. Because I have so many people come up to me and ask me, is, did you do this on the computer? Like, did, you, did the computer generate this for you? And, and I said, no. I just, but your eye has to look closely at it. It has to focus on a particular area of the image and, and then you start to see the subtle differences between the strokes and the, and the, and the minute errors that are, are, are throughout the piece. Um, but these errors give, give a, human, a human feel to it. Um, it the, another thing I like about it is it has a soft feel to it. It, it, it um, uh, can be used in a number of different applications. And, um, and, I, and I like that. It, 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 the version that I did on, on the textured background it has a distressed look, and, and I like that. I love that texture, and uh, um, I love the fact that that texture is made available under a Creative Commons license, and, and the link is attached to, uh, uh, to the blog post here. Um, so to wrap up, I just want to thank everybody for their comments, and, and, uh, and I'm just looking forward to the December uh, 2011 calendar project, and hopefully I'll be able to drop that on, uh, on my blog uh, sometime before, uh, before December. All right. Thanks very much. Cheers, Steve.